Namaste. My name is Manisha Singh, Assistant Professor in Faculty of Agriculture and Veterinary Sciences, Department of Food and Biotechnology in Jyoti Vidya Preet Women's University, Jaipur. Uh, today, I am teaching you Fruits and Vegetable Processing Technology subject uh, for class uh, BSc and uh, BSc FND for fourth semester and integrated course BTEC MTech. FBT fourth semester and uh, in today's session we will study about the chemical composition of fruits and vegetables in this session we will discuss about how uh, which how much water that means moisture and protein fats uh, and other components present in the fruits and vegetable basically it this session is only for the chemical composition of fruits and vegetable so Let's start with the topic, chemical composition of fruits and vegetables. Okay, fruits and vegetables are the raw material for the production of fruit and vegetable juice beverages. Okay, uh, that not only for juice beverages, but also for pickles, dessert, salad, fruit salad, vegetable salad, etc. The technological flowchart of fruits and vegetable juices Processing line depends largely on its chemical composition of the fruit and vegetable raw material. Okay, to obtain high quality fruit and vegetable juice beverages, it is necessary to understand the chemical components of fruits and vegetables and changes in the chemical components of fruit and vegetables during the processing, so as to more targeted control of the production process. Generally, the chemical components in fruits and vegetables are divided into two: dry matter and moisture content. Okay, the water content in fruits and vegetables is generally seventy to ninety percent, including the free water and the bound water. Bound water is basically colloid bound water. Okay, for example, in watermelon, the moisture content present in watermelon is ninety five percent. Okay. Then dry matter includes water soluble and water insoluble substances. For example, for water soluble substances, mainly include sugar, organic acids, pectin, tannin, etc. And insoluble substances include cellulose, hemicellulose, protopectin, and starch. And other ingredients in fruits and vegetables include vitamins, pigments, nitrogen containing substances, and aromatic. substances so nitrogen containing compounds in fruits are fruit contains 0.1% to 1.5% nitrogen compounds of which 35% to 75% is protein okay and that protein is mainly enzyme proteins okay free amino acids are also widely distributed other nitrogen compounds are only minor constituents the special value of nuts with their high protein content is generally well known protein and enzyme patterns which can be obtained for example by electrophoretic separation are generally highly specific for fruits and can be utilized for analytical differentiation of species and variety a number of aliphatic and aromatic amines are found in various fruits and they are formed in part by a amino acid decarboxylation such as in apples or by amination or transamination of aldehydes some amines are derived from tyramine example as codeine cyanepirine octapamine and dopamine and noradrenaline okay next chemical component is carbohydrates so for monosaccharides uh, they are of three types monosaccharide oligosaccharide and polysaccharide monosaccharides can in, uh, in addition to glucose and fructose the ratio of which vary greatly in various fruits other monosaccharides occur only in trace amounts okay for example arabinose and xylose have been found in several fruits exceptional cases avocado in which higher number of sugars are present at from 0.2 to 5% of fresh weight okay small amounts of heptulose have been found in the flesh of apples peaches strawberries and in the peel of grapefruit peaches and grapes oligosaccharides 
is basically saccharose or sucrose in the dominant oligosaccharide other disaccharides do not have quantitative importance maltose occurs in small amounts in grapes bananas guava melibios raffinose and stachyose have also been detected in grapes and in ripe bananas six castoes has been identified the study of monosaccharide and oligosaccharide composition may be useful in detection of adulteration of fruit juices okay other oligosaccharides occur only in trace amounts the proportion of reducing sugar to sucrose can vary greatly okay some fruits have no saccharose and uh, while in some the saccharose content is significantly higher than the reducing sugar content for example in apricots peaches pineapples and among the sugar derivatives desorbitol is abundant in roseaceae families uh, fruit uh, for example pom fruits or stone fruits okay for example its concentration is 300 mg per 100 ml to 800 mg per 100 ml in apple juice because fruits such as berry citrus fruits pineapples or bananas do not contain sorbitol its detection of analytical importance in the evaluation of wine and other fruit products then we have polysaccharides all the fruit contain cellulose hemicellulose pentosans and pectins the building block of these polysaccharides are glucose galactose mannose arabinose xylose rhamnose fructose and galactouronic and gal glucouronic acid the pectin fractions of fruits and fruits are particularly affected by ripening with a increase in the insoluble pectin fraction the total pectin content can also decrease starch is present primarily in unripe fruits and its content decreases to a negligible level as ripening proceeds exceptions are bananas in which the starch content uh, can be 3% or more even in the ripe bananas and in various nuts such as cashews and brazil nuts okay next is the organic acid the organic acid is an important flavor substance that constitutes fruits and vegetable the amount of acid content has uh, not only directly affects the taste but also affects the conditions in the production process of beverages juice the main organic acid in fruits and vegetables are malic acid citric acid tartaric acid and acetic acid during the processing of fruits and vegetable juice free acids in fruits and vegetable can inhibit the growth of microorganisms for acidic beverages with a ph value below 4.6 the process conditions of heat sterilization during processing can be appropriately reduced thereby reducing the loss of nutrients in juice and improving the quality of beverages okay then we have vitamins vitamins are the most important nutrients for fruits and vegetables uh, most fruits and vegetables are rich in vitamin c and also uh, contain an appropriate amount of water soluble uh, vitamin b and during the processing of fruits and vegetable juices oxygen and heating have the greatest impact on vitamin content of the fruits and vegetable juices okay then minerals in minerals in fruits and vegetable are one of the important sources of minerals for human body intake for the human body most fruits and vegetables are alkaline fourth mineral elements are related to oxidation turbidity browning and vitamin c loss then we have our uh, aromatic substances the aromatic substances of fruits and vegetables are various volatile aromatic components formed during the ripening process of fruits and vegetable for example citrus aromatic substances are mainly citric acid with lemon flavor tomato aromatic substances are mainly ethanol acetic acid and propyl ester then pigment pigments in fruits and vegetable mainly includes carotenoids and chlorophyll carotenoids are mainly found in tomatoes watermelons pumpkin peppers peaches plums and carrots beta lins pigment is present in beetroot and carotenoids are not easy to destroy during the processing of fruits and vegetables but they are easy to uh, go oxidation under the influence of light and causes the discoloration of fruits and vegetable 
chlorophyll mainly exists in green vegetables and it will oxidize under the influence of light then tannin substance tannin has astringent and plays an important role in the flavor of fruits and vegetable juices during the processing of fruits and vegetable if the tannin containing fruits and vegetable are not handled properly they will have different degrees of color change in addition adding tannin and gelation to the juice can also clarify the juice then enzyme there are various enzymes in fruits and vegetables such as pectin esterase and polygalactouranase these enzymes have an important role in maturation of fruits and vegetable as well as various effects on the production of fruits and vegetable beverages when making concentrated juice it is often necessary to treat the pectinase in fruits and vegetable with a tubular preheater to inhibit or destroy the enzyme activity for example in the processing of tomato paste heat treatment at 60 degree celsius for 15 seconds and the pectin esterase activity is reduced to 1 by 5 while heating conditions at 85 degree celsius and for 15 seconds can completely inactivate the enzyme the enzyme present in fruits and vegetables like polyphenol oxidase peroxidase catalase are responsible for enzymatic browning uh, and they will uh, get the coloration over the fruits and vegetable a brown color which is undesirable to protect prevent this we basically inactivate the enzyme by the process of blanching and then we will use uh, the fruits and vegetable for further processes okay typical percentage composition of foods from plant origin fruits and vegetables for example carrots contain 9.1% carbohydrate 1.1% protein 0.2% fat 1% ash and 88.6% moisture content whereas radishes contains 4.2% carbohydrate 1.1% protein 0.1% fat and 0.9% ash content and 93.7% of moisture content whereas in bananas 24% carbohydrate 1.3% protein 0.4% fat and 0.8% ash content and 73.5% moisture content for oranges 11.3% of carbohydrate 0.9% protein 0.2% fat 0.5% ash content and 87.1% moisture content for apple 15% is carbohydrate 0.3% is protein 0.4% is fat and 0.3% is ash content and 84% is moisture content for strawberries 8.3% is carbohydrate 0.8% is uh, protein and 0.5% is fat content and 0.5% is ash content and rest of it 89.9% is water content okay so uh, the summary of this is the composition of fruits and vegetables are not only vary for a given kind in according to the botanical variety cultivation practices and weather but change with the degree of maturity prior to harvest and the condition of ripeness which is progressive after harvest and is further influenced by storage condition nevertheless some generalizations can be made okay so most fruit fresh fruits and vegetable are high in water content low in protein and low in fat okay in these cases water contents will generally be greater than 70% and frequently more greater than 85% okay commonly protein content will be not be greater than 3.5% or fat content greater than 0.5% exceptions exist in the case of dates and raisins which are substantially lower in moisture but cannot be considered as fresh in the same sense as other fruit legumes such as peas and certain beans are higher in protein a few vegetables such as sweet corn which are slightly higher in fat and avocados which are substantially higher in fat okay vegetables and fruits are important sources of both digestible and indigestible carbohydrates the digestible carbohydrates are present largely in the form of sugars and starches while indigestible cellulose provides roughage which is important to normal digestion 
Fruit and vegetables are also important sources of minerals and certain vitamins, especially vitamins A and C. The precursors of vitamin A, including beta carotene and certain other carotenoids, are to be found particularly in the yellow orange fruit and vegetables in the green leafy vegetables. Citrus fruits are excellent source of vitamin C, as are of green leafy vegetables and tomatoes. And tomatoes are also provide uh, potatoes are also provide an important source of vitamin C for the diets of many countries. And this is a, not so much due to the level of vitamin C in potatoes, which is not especially high, but rather to the large quantities of potatoes are consumed in various countries. That's why that will that is used to fulfill the requirement or daily requirement of vitamin C of the consumers in various countries. Okay, from this session, uh, various questions are asked in your exam. Uh, for example, uh, write down the chemical composition of fruits and vegetable, a direct question may be asked in your final exams. And uh, in competitive exams, uh, you may ask a question like, uh, uh, they can ask a question like, uh, uh, dash is present in tomatoes. So your answer may be a lycopene, okay? Uh, and uh, which pigment is present in grapes? Uh, like that, they can ask the question. And uh, I hope you all understand the chemical composition of fruits and vegetable. So that is enough for the today's class. And uh, in next class, we will study about the pre-harvest conditions of fruits and vegetables. So thank you so much for attending this class.